Now I'm ready to share my story. Welcome to my weight loss journey. For this journey, my eyes see John Chin. This journey made me cry, made me question God, made me regret, made me sad. And most of all, this journey made me take the scariest decision of my life. Before I go into it, I would like to take you guys down memory lane. Normally, I know they do not bomb me as plus size. You get one time, say, they call me teeny boko. I teen normally, you know. And then when I became an adult, I, I was between 8 to 10, size 8, size 10. If I too fat, size 12, I'll come back like that. And of course, I used to dance professionally at the time. So I'd be slim person normally until I got married. As I'm married, I carry belly, born a booby. Carry another belly, born she there. Now, once I just shoot, turn to plus size. I could weigh 100, 120, 130. Get one time when I even reach 140. I swell up like cocogan, like mash poison. I started to, you know, struggle with my weight. I became so dizzy, always tired, even though sometimes I'm always very active. You can see me, this one's stronger, but I did, I did struggle with tiredness, dizziness. It can't graduate to difficulty in breathing. I know copy the breathe way. Then uh, I can't get knee pain. Knee go call the pain me. If I sit down, take, if I stand up, I go like I want four. So because I shares go, they pay me too. If I just climb step, finish, reach where they go. That's how I go the breathe. Like monkey will lie on your shoe. You know, I started battling with my weight and all of that. But at the time. I was still doing what I was doing. I used to work with NYSC, you know, I go go camp. They go put me, they go put me for more than five different committee. You know, I'm very active, but I don't say this weight. Not a favor me, not if you favor my work. So cut the long story short. 2017, I say no to this weight. I not do this weight again. I'm not okay. I feel sick all the time. I need to go on a weight loss journey. That time we still stay for Lube. I call join one gym. I join the gym. I go to go gym every day. They go to tell me for the gym. Not be able to go gym. You need to uh, diet. You need to the. Uh, you know say for Nigeria when you eat right, it's called diet. Eh. Uh, they go to tell me say not be to work out alone. I need to the uh, eat right. But when I reach us, ah, I like food. The discipline was not there. I go work out, I'll go swallow a bar. Go shop six meat, bread. They use bread to do me. Normal gilet bread will be normal bread, grand square bread. If I do, I don't do the bread like this. Cut I don't finish. You know, I couldn't really eat right, but I was going to work out and all of that. 2018 happened. I stopped working out, I stopped eating right. That was when I became depressed and I had a lot of issues and all of that. And I, you know my story. 2019, I remember one time, Bovi man on fire, worry. Me and Mr. Jelof do red carpet host. After we finish red carpet, I say my go upstairs, go greet bros, Bovi. I go greet him and everything. Immediately, I saw a four. I so they rush me, pour water for my face and everything. I don't feel breath. Step when I climb for Brand Hill Event Center, uh, Brand Hill Event Center downstairs, just to climb upstairs, go greet bros for this thing. Now I don't feel take breath again, I just fall. I, as I reach back house, I go to hospital. I say, see what happened to me. Oh. They say, you need to be working out. Your, your, uh, hey, get that time. They call say, uh, hey, they call one name for me. They say, uh, Asterochlorosis, abiwoti. They say my blood vessel, the, the vessel, the, the narrow, abiwoti. I say, shoot. They say I need to, the, with that one, they say I still get a, 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 
cholesterol problem, fat in my body. Make a they take, come give me one drug, lipitone. So they pack drug, give me for hospital. Say, but make a still they work out, make a they exercise, make a they mind wait at the shop. Ah, ah. I still try, do work out that period. The thing will reduce more. So that it will come back again because the discipline all day to take shop. Right. 2020 co happen pandemic we call day. I started working out, working out, working out, working out, working out, working out. Oh, sometimes I go shop better food. Sometimes I go shop yeah yeah food. But because the discipline all day, cause the, the level of discipline where we need to take keep fit and live healthy, it's not the normal discipline in dictionary. <laughs> this one eh, the level of discipline you must tap out from above. It's a lot. 2020, oh, now so I do work, I do work, I do work, I do, 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 shop, oh, I go shop vegetable, I go work out. Sometimes again, I must go swallow, apple, pandedia, everything. It got to a point, I became so sick. They could admit me for hospital. Only me, they get serious migraine back to back. Breathlessness. Knee, severe knee pain. Chest, go they pay me. Cholesterol. With the esterochlorosis. 2021, I did my show in Worry. Do Worry Picking Unfiltered Worry. During the process of the planning of the show and the performance and everything, that was August 1st, now I do the show. August third week, I call, I call Go Lagos, go do a comedy night. I'll be, yes, a comedy night with IK Psychodua. That particular season, I supposed to perform. I call Go Lagos. I go Lagos, go perform. I did for backstage. They won't mic me. I know if you stand up. I did turn me. It became so weak. Passion they set that day too. Because Nami and, Nami and Passion did that particular episode where we go perform for comedy night. I don't know if you stand up. I was so weak. He gave one particular gift for the team. I don't forget that gift. The gift was just praying for me, praying for me. They come weigh me with wish share. They bring wish share. Come on. I don't know if you walk out. I had a carry me go premier hospital for uh, 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 for Lao Shibo there. What did they do me? The same thing. They call even had acute, acute weakness, a bit tiredness, a bit something. Ha! I say, oh Bob, this, this wait, wait, see, this wait, thank God. I was so angry. I was so upset with myself. I say, so me not just get the discipline to totally lose this weight after they discharge me after many days. Now nah, I just travel. I could go. I could go Kenya. I go Nairobi. I say I need to just rest. I need to think. I need to really put myself together. What did, what did they happen to me? I travel, finish, come back. That was 2021. 2022, which is last year. <laughs> I got a weight 135, 140. I became so big. Every day I saw they go. They, they, in a in a week I must go to hospital. In a week, they must rush me go hospital. Now that same, now that, now that same time, I suppose go shoot. But say why they do one this way they call call to bar. I did it season one. They won't call shoot season two. They book flight for me. I reached airport. I could not fly. Now for B, now for VIP lounge, they rush me. They rush me go hospital. For VIP lounge, they rush me. Eh? Go, now that I even know say hospital every day airport. From then I they carry me. Go hospital for inside town. I don't fit travel. I make it this season two ever come out. I not the inside because I don't fit travel. After they could discharge me, <laughs> I go they ask myself, so Anita Alire, I saw her. So you know if you just discipline, lose weight, sha. But he had. Losing weight hard, though. So, this is the hardest thing because when you grow up for where you they shop anything you like, now for old age, now for old age, you want to learn left hand. They had now. Whether they use right hand for all your life, it was, it was such a difficult task. 2022, I do my show. We were picking on filter at Abuja. Father's Day, I think it was July 19 or so. I perform finish. I reach hotel. I could not walk. I had to massage my leg. Get one boy where they walk with me that time. John, 
Do one massage leg, saute. He get, he ain't come be like leg, he get mozo. I don't feel waka. What did happen? Now they rush me go hospital after my show. Now my husband wake me one night and say, see this weight, my wife. I don't want to lose you. I don't have issues with you. I love you the way you are. But now we, it don't be life threatening issue. It just, and then he, he said something to me. He said, this is the second time I'm really scared for your life. 2018, June 6, I attempted suicide. Ikechiko. <laughs> Enough to explain how he feel that day. And then when, that night when he wake me, he said, that is the same feeling he's having. He said, honey, you have to lose weight. Because at the end of the day, everything is the point of my weight. Because if I lose weight, I they hit right, I they walk out, I will be healthy. No amount of drugs go fit save you except the food where you they shop. Because everything where we they shop is our body. Now they even they bring the sickness they come. So when he could talk to me that night, he said, I'm really scared. This is not about prayer or anything. Wisdom is profitable to direct. My wife, you have to lose weight. Come like say, depression almost came in 2018. 2022. 20, 20, Come be fat. I said this fat. I go fight you. Now, Sissy Meko starts no sugar challenge. Now, she just call me all of a sudden and say, Anita, you need to lose weight too. How far? Come and say, she know what they have put to me. I didn't tell her anything. This was between me, my doctor, and my husband. I said, Now, see how you tell me, no, say, this weight, I don't really tire. She spoke to me that day. I was so emotional. I cried. And she said, Anita, register for my no sugar challenge. It's going to run for one month. That's why I register. I call start. Started working out. Uh, she collaborated with Miss Shields. Miss Shields gave us, uh, you know, um, timetable, food, uh, diet plan. One month. I followed it. I was too faithful. I followed the diet plan. I did work out every day. You know, I became better a bit, you know. And then September, October, as I, 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 I started seeing, you know, results. My, my knee could it reduce, the pain could it reduce, I'm not could it frequent on spittle like before and all of that. You know, I could see small changes, I feel better a bit. November could happen. <laughs> my village people could catch me. I couldn't live that lifestyle anymore. I went back to eating like an idiot. In short, I had eating disorder. And they chop in the air. Drink mini ra, shop anyhow. I went back November, December. Because I had events back to back, so I couldn't keep up. I went back. November. There was a day I had events, three events that day. I had one in the morning. That was body line, does this stuff called fit, fit, fit life, I be fit farm, something like that. I was there for appearance and all of that. In the morning I went there. I reached the finish. I was working out, you know, and everything. Snapping pictures with fans and all of that. All of a sudden, I became very weak. My knee was, all my joints could it pain me. I was shaking, I became so weak, I left. Now even ambulance motor carry me go hospital that day. In the afternoon, I had an event in Transcorp. One event like that. By Mr. Elvis. That was it, we just said so now. All the while his event was happening, I was in the hospital. They said that they called me, I said, I'm not going to come. That night, I was supposed to be in Lagos for Fidelity Bank All White End of Year event. Those three events I had that day. I don't do the one for money. I land for hospital. I couldn't do the one in the afternoon. Immediately, they said, I can refund money. I refund money. That evening, I don't want to refund two money the same day. I said, I have to go to Portugal. I have to go to, I have to go to Lagos. I have to pretend to my husband that I'm okay. I say I'm fine. Hospital, they discharge me. I reach out. Packed my things. I went to Lagos that day, did my makeup, did my dress, everything. That event that day, I was not okay. I was in severe pain. I was weak. I tried my best. I entered Lagos. I did that event. After I reached out, my doctor called me. They vexed for me. Why? Why will I have to travel? Anita, you want to kill yourself? I don't like your results. Anita, you are sick. You need to calm down. Can you call? Can you call? My doctor talked to me that day. Put fear for my body. Say this time, I'm not happy with you. Anita, we cannot lose you because you are not disciplined to live a healthy life. 
Say, Anita, you know what? At this point, if you know you cannot be disciplined to eat right, work out, so you will be well, then the next thing is for you to do a weight loss surgery. When Dr. David tell me, say, you have to do a weight loss surgery, I say, ta, come on there, which kind of rubbish be that one? I mean, what could risk my life? Because when you just hear anything surgery, the perception we have, I have for surgery is just, it's very dangerous. And I feel like if it's something I can, you know, do naturally, why do I have to go surgery and all of that? At this point, my doctor has given up. He no say I'm not going to fit, lose weight naturally. And he was worried for me. My husband was worried. My parents, because I was always frequenting the, frequent, frequenting the hospital. I was not well, but I was still doing my work. And one day my doctor said to me, this time, you they do your work, you they travel here and there, they perform, they do not go for, you're just for die. Now so you told you, now so you're just for die one day. Hey! January happened, it's calling me, what's up? Have you made up your mind? Anita, that is the only solution for now because you, uh, we don't want to lose you, you have to. I said, give me some time to pray about it. <laughs> give me some time. Mind you, the reason why I made up my mind was Iketriko. My husband eh, was past me when it comes to anything surgery. To the point that we almost lost a bube on Christmas Day 2014 when I did delivery, when I did labor room. They tell me because sign my, 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 my deliver with CS. You know, great. He said, no, say your wife must born like an Hebrew woman. So you know, like anything surgery and everything. So now he gets to now. They tell me, say, I must do a weight loss surgery because he does not want to lose me. It was such a difficult time for me. This was like January 2023. I will cry. I went back to the gym. I will work out. I will eat right. I go to tell me because... I don't know if it chop it, I'm supposed to chop. It, it became a very difficult time for me. Trying to make a decision to go on a weight loss surgery so it could help me lose weight and be well. And then I'm trying to do it naturally. Everybody around me has made up their mind except me. It was such a difficult... It was such a difficult moment for me. At the end of the day, I just woke up one day and said, baby, I'm ready. Let's do this. And <laughs> I took the most difficult decision of my life. I went on the weight loss surgery. I'm happy I made that decision. I'm happy my husband, Victor Ikechiko Asoha, was there for me. My doctor, my family was there to say, Anita, do it, do it, and you'll be fine. And I did it. And I'm fine. I feel better. I don't wake up dizzy, weak. I don't wake up with migraines anymore. I don't have knee pains anymore. Everything that was diagnosed, I'm free from it. I feel so good right now and I would love to say this keeping fit should be normalized we don't talk about it enough because of this self-love body positivity have been there love yourself the way you are uh, now nah, fatter fatter not keep person those are the things that I was using at the time, it was the time I was so angry. I've been a fat, fat, and I keep saying, I am plus size. Uh, you they die, they go. What is life if you are not healthy? So, all those things now we tell ourselves, we call the shop any hour, like what they call them foodie, but now eating disorder. You need to tap into the highest level of discipline. Because for fitness, forget all those things where they talk. For fitness, 80% for fitness. Now wait till you the shop. 20% might be workout. Not go to fool yourself on gym, say you the workout. Then you know go call 
you could you could shop in here like a like a, a cow. You no. Know? Even after this weight loss surgery, I must still work out. I must see it, right? As a matter of fact, what the surgery does is I can't even I got the hungry, eh? I'll see food and not fish up. So the surgery might be the by first discipline. The discipline what I battle with in 2017. Automatically, I get the discipline now because you see food, you know, fish up. Not let anybody like give you online. Come and buy this one. Come and do this one. Uh, now, so before I decided to share my story, they go enter my DM. This is the best time you need to. Pro, uh, this is the best time you need to now launch something and say this is your secret. I said no. I can't mislead anybody. I've always been true to myself. I've always been true to my story. This is this. This is my journey. This is my story. So I'm not gonna feed a life for anybody. You know. So what I want you all to take out of this is to take our health seriously. I was very careless. If I had died, in short, it's just as if I was suicidal, I wanted to kill myself. All this, they don't call all these things for me, say now they do me. I go still the chop anyhow. <laughs> I'm happy I didn't die. So now that you've heard my story, I hope it motivates or inspires someone. Thank you very much for listening.